They don't suck water out of the soil. They don't extract it. They don't do it. They only take what's loosely held. This is what's loosely held. I get it saturated. It drips through. Only the water that's dripping is what the plants can take up. If my hand is the soil particle, the plants can't suck the water off the soil particles. So you have to actually saturate your soil, get it all wet to make sure that all the clay in your soil has water on it because clay has this magnetic attraction with water where it just is going to stick to the clay. But only the excess water is what the plants take up. See how there's nothing dripping? So that's what happens when you have moist soil that your plant's not growing and it's not doing anything and you're wondering why because you keep pouring like a little cup of water on it because you're wetting the soil but you're not creating enough excess for the plants because the excess is what it actually drains on through. That's all the plants take, so you have to saturate it. In the, in the earth, when you're watering in the ground, you sort of have to think, okay, I'm saturating the soil, I'm getting it all wet, there's enough, I'm watering the leaves, it's dripping all there, there's enough water in the soil, and it's draining down, and there's enough for the plants to take a drink and then move on. So you actually have to put extra water there, excess water. In pots, it's really easy. You just water them, and when they start draining through, you saturated everything, and there was enough loose water there held in the soil. And clay soil is notorious for it, because it looks wet, it feels wet, but there's not any excess there for the plants to take up. So that's my little tidbit, you guys. That's my time. I love you all for watching the show. I play me on TV all the time. I learned a long time ago that people were giving me love. What's happening, Roy? People were giving me love when I was being me, whenever I would sort of get off the script and uh, tell my own little stories and share my own experiences and really just be myself. People loved it because it was authentic and that was very different for TV. And I said, I like doing TV. I like the way TV pays me. <laughs> Compared to the way landscaping pays me. I love landscaping, but TV pay and landscaping pay, two very different things. And so I figured out, I, I said, do I need to take like acting classes? What do I need to do so I can keep doing this? Because this is cool, right? And so I started looking online for all these acting classes. And I was like, maybe I should do that. And then I started seeing that there were billions of people taking classes and having agents and trying to get into this industry. And here I was in the industry. So I just had to take a moment and I had to figure out, I said, what do I need to do to do this? And I said, people are always giving me love. They're like, I love you. You're just down to earth. You're just a regular guy as opposed to an irregular guy. <laughs> and I said, well, you know what? If they love me when I'm just being me, then why don't I just be me? And the good thing about being me is that he can't be me as good as I can be me. And I can be me every day, all day long. <laughs> So I did that, I did it with yard crashers at work basically. I'm a mun mundane landscape gardener who works out in the field like all the other gardeners. Only you guys want to take pictures of me. <laughs> and I have a feeling you're not going to go home and grab your gardener and say, hey, come take a picture with me. <laughs> but I love you guys, I thank you for being here. Orchard has got a bunch of goodies for you today. This whole carnival was for you and thank you for listening to me. Thank you. you guys eat